Just hope that we're still okay. You always pick me up and let me down. We're spinning around, losing our minds. And if we do, then if we don't, then if we give in what we want. And I always pick you up and let you down. We're spinning around, losing our minds. Hey everyone, it is Thursday and Yes, I am wearing the same top that I was wearing yesterday, but I just wanted to let you know that I went to Blue Sparrow. It is also a snow day. There was so much snow, so I'm going to show you now. But I went to Blue Sparrow and sadly, their espresso machine was down. So I was forced to get a iced coffee and I got their nitro cold brew with almond milk, which is actually pretty good. I like it. Um, so let's have a taste. So sad that their espresso machine is down, but it sounds like it's going to be back up and running shortly. But glad I got a little bit of a caffeine fix. And I am now making some tomato soup and toasted cheese. Let me show you if you can see how much snow there is. Let's see. It's so bright. But there was a ton of snow today so it's looking all nice and snowy got all the blinds open and my little work workstation my i'm trying to get this plant to live again so i'm terrible with plants but the, there's like little little new sprouts coming in and then i've got my valentine's day heart having a good thursday i'm prepping for my future females event is later today, so I'm basically ready, ready. Just need to switch up my top. I'm making tomato soup from Costco and making some grilled cheese. So I'm gonna go get making the grilled cheese and enjoying enjoying my nitro brew from Blue Sparrow. The one that I'm gonna be really close to in a month's time. Oh, and we got boxes, so I can start packing this weekend. I know we're only leaving like a month, but I really want to get, I really want to declutter and go through quite a few things so that we are not taking unnecessary stuff, especially because we're working from home. For the rest of the year, I think we definitely need to minimize. We have far too much stuff for two people we definitely buy too much things so definitely relooking at what we buy and i think we need to be more conscious make more conscious decisions when we buy things like a stir put that down probably gonna get like some tomato soup all on me anyway i will be back chat to you soon bye okay hi everyone it is saturday and i am going to be taking you through using the v60 drip scale so I have my scale here, it is the Hario V60 scale, so I'm going to put my coffee cup on the scale, my V60 onto my coffee cup, and then I'm going to put my filter. So I am going to use the paper filter and not the reusable filter just because I am going to test out the timer on the scale. So I have already grounded my coffee. We are drinking today the Urban Roasting Company and this is another Colorado roaster 
and I got this recently through my Native Coffee Club subscription. So you are going to reset. Let's see, reset. Ooh, turned off. Okay, we're back on. So we've got the weight on the right side and then we've got the timer on the left side. So I'm going to weigh my coffee and I'm going to weigh about 18 grams because I'm making one cup. Let's see. Close. Okay. So I've got 18 grams. So I have 18 grams, 18.5 grams, and I'm actually going to follow this step-by-step -step process. So it says after applying the coffee and well after weigh, weighing the coffee I am going to reset and then I'm going to start the timer and pour hot water slowly to moisten the grounds. Okay so I'm going to start my timer and then using my gooseneck kettle I'm just going to kind of make it wet. Wait 30 seconds, so it's busy counting down. We're on 15 seconds now. Okay, then after 30 seconds, reset the timer and then slowly start to add more boiling water in a slow circular motion. And I should do this for about three minutes. So we're almost on a minute now. So I'm just gonna wait till the coffee finishes brewing a little bit and I'm going to top up with some more water. Again in a circular slow motion. And we now just wait for it to brew. I'm then going to go and get my I'm now going to get my almond milk that I'm going to top up with. This is the almond milk that I use. So we are still brewing. We're now on 1.4 minutes. This is quite fun. What does this instruction say? So just as the brewing should take three minutes, but I guess it's also three minutes for a bigger coffee brew. Well, we're now on two minutes, so let's see. I think I have enough water in there, so I'm just going to let it continue brewing. We're just over two minutes now. Two and a half minutes. Still dripping a little bit. Ten more seconds until I can enjoy this delicious cup of coffee. And three minutes. Ooh, that actually worked out so perfectly. Now I have a beautifully brewed pour over coffee. And now I'm going to pour in my almond milk. And enjoy. Just remember to stop the timer and turn off. And then we are all ready to go. Cheers. Hey everyone, it is still Saturday. It's now late afternoon. I filmed this morning using my new digital scale, the Hario V60 
scale for pour over. So I filmed that. It is Saturday. I did film the rest of this week. I filmed quite a bit this week. So I'm going to be wrapping up the vlog now. But before I before I wrap up, I wanted to share with you all a gift package that I got from my mom. Just some South African goodies that she sent me that I just wanted to show you and just kind of, I don't know, just kind of share with you because I was really excited when I got this gift package that I can just explain a few things that I got from her. So, to start off with, I got this cute little Protea reusable bag. So there's a little reusable bag in here. And for anyone that doesn't know, the King Protea, which is this little flower here, is our national flower for South Africa. So if you, I've actually seen a lot of American weddings have a Protea in. So just so you're aware, it's actually a South African flower. So I love seeing Proteas in bouquets. And I'm really excited to use my new Protea reusable bag. I got this little purse. It's got my name on it, Caitlin, if you can see. And I love little bags. I have a ton of these. And I can just like use it as a makeup bag, coin bag, card bag, anything really. I love having these little bags with me. They're very handy. And then some general things. She sent me socks. Thanks, Mom. Thanks for my socks. Don't know why I need socks, but she thought I needed socks. Then I got this South African flag mask because we all need more face masks. So if you see me with this, you'll know it's me wearing the South African face mask. Quite cute. And then she sent me chewing gum, Airways. So I have tried all the American chewing gum and I just don't find one that is strong enough. So this is a very strong chewing gum that I just love and yes, I do like to chew gum. I don't chew it as much, I guess, because we are working from home so if I need to um, freshen my breath, I brush my teeth. But always love having strong chewing gum. And if there is an American brand that is stronger or is more mintier, please let me know because I just have not found one that is strong enough for me. Then something that I don't think I don't think it's a thing here and I really haven't found it, but Easter's coming up and back in South Africa the Friday and Monday are both public holidays. It is probably one of the most religious holidays in South Africa. And we always would go away and have Easter eggs. And I just have not found marshmallow Easter eggs. If this is, if there is a brand in the US that makes marshmallow Easter eggs, please do let me know. But I got sent marshmallow Easter eggs, which is more of a gift for my husband. But I love marshmallow Easter eggs. I generally do love marshmallows. I'm a little bit addicted to, to marshmallows. I don't, I haven't found a marshmallow that I like here, but I try and stay away from, from sweets and things like that. Try, try very hard. And then ooh, one of my favorite treats is Astros. So Astros is a Cadbury's brand. So Cadbury's is, is pretty much, it's a UK brand. I think it's a UK brand, but they make chocolate out of sugar, first of all. Not the biggest American chocolate fan because of the use of corn syrup. I think it alters the taste in the chocolate. But Astro's is candy and chocolate coated biscuit bites. I don't think you get, you don't get whispers here, but what, what's the equivalent? I'll pop the equivalent on the screen. But what I normally do with these is I make myself popcorn 
and then I put on top of the popcorn I put Astros and then it melts the chocolate gets all soft so you're having like a sweet and savory bite mixed with the chocolate every time I guess it's like something you would do in America you would put M&Ms but I prefer Astros so I've got quite a few boxes of these and it's it's my little treat when I want to watch series or watch watch a movie. Love Astros. Then besides socks, my mom did buy me other things. She sent me this Country Road toiletry bag. So Country Road is actually an Australian brand, and they came across to they came across to South Africa a few years ago. They actually joined Woolworths. Woolworths is, I want to say, kind of the equivalent of Macy's and Nordstrom, but it also has food. I, will, I want to kind of say it's Whole Foods slash Macy's slash Nordstrom. So they do clothes, clothing and food. So Country Road, I love their clothes as well. Country Road came in, so did another Australian brand, Trainery and Witchery. So I really miss those clothing brands back in South Africa. I've started experimenting a little bit, but I'm still trying to figure out the clothing brands I like here. If you have any recommendations, please do let me know in the comments below if there are any cool clothing brands that I should check out. But anyway, so Woolworths, if you are a, if you're from the UK or you've been to the UK before, they are similar to Marks and Spencers. So Woolworths is basically Marks and Spencers. So she bought me, she sent me this cute little toiletry bag. Even though we're not traveling that much, it's always handy to have a toiletry bag. And then she did send me this gorgeous top from Country Road. Which I'm super excited to wear. Thanks, Mom. Uh, even though I haven't seen my family in here, it's still really, really nice to get a little gift. Even though it probably cost her a lot of money to send it because she sent it through DHL. If you don't want to use the postal system, I would recommend using DHL. My sister's actually in Dubai right now, so my mom sent her a package through uh, DHL and she sent me a package and this took like a week to arrive which is super super fast if you think about how far South Africa is to the US and Denver is like right in the middle um, right in the middle of the US anyway I'm rambling and I generally ramble so just to kind of recap this week was a good week it was really busy, but I managed to go to a few coffee shops. I went to Lekka and I went to Blues Barrow. Um, obviously, those are my two favorite coffee shops. And then I didn't speak too much about it, but I hosted, well, co hosted another Future Females event on Thursday with Laura Hertz, the CEO of Gifts for Goods. And that was a really interesting. That was a really interesting event and we had a lot of amazing attendees and there was a lot of engagement and asking, there were a lot of really good questions around social entrepreneurship. So I learned a lot, which was really amazing and Laurie is incredible. So it was, yeah, it was a really good event. And then Friday we went out actually. I decided to treat my husband. I took him out for dinner, which is a very rare occasion because generally he treats me. But I took us for cocktails and then we oh, we went to... For cocktails, I've been dying to go to this place, went to Walton Room. They make incredible cocktails. I had a gin and a sparkling wine cocktail and my husband had... He had a whiskey cocktail and then he had a tequila cocktail. I don't drink... Um, well, I'm a very slow drinker, so I had just one cocktail and then we went to, well, we walked to Il Pasto, which is a lovely Italian restaurant in Rhino. I've never been there, so I was really, really impressed with the food there. 
we had um, or oh, had an April spritz. So if you don't know, during the day I drink coffee, at night I enjoy sparkling wine. That is my go-to drink of choice, alcoholic beverage of choice. So I had a April spritz, was April spritz, which was really good. And then we had arancini balls for starters. And then we had a burrata, which was incredible. Then we had this other roasted vegetable dish. Probably wouldn't get that again. It was very garlicky. But it, overall, the starters were amazing. And then I had the gnocchi, which I love gnocchi. It was delicious. And it had, what did he have? He had like the cauliflower risotto with wagyu beef, which was incredible. And then we, we always say this, we're, we always say we're not going to get desserts, but we ended up having desserts and we had, we had the s'mores, like deconstructed s'mores, and then he had the affogato, which is espresso with, espresso with ice cream, which is really, really good. But yeah, so that's what we did on Friday and now it's Saturday, so I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. If you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe. If you liked what you saw, please give it a thumbs up or send me an, a coffee emoji down below. And have a fantastic week ahead and I will chat to you all soon. Bye for now.